Hallelujah. Please, you may be seated. God bless you. Again tonight, you are welcome to Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer. Kindly pick your phone, put a call through to your friends, family, and loved ones. Let them know it is time for Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer. Like you know, text message is not enough to wake anybody up. Be deliberate tonight, and God will bless you. Share the link, share data with someone, and God bless you tonight in Jesus' name. Let's look at a couple of testimonies and see what God is doing upon this mountain. Sister Esther O. from Jalingo. Above only, that is my place. I have come as the one leper to pay my vows to the Almighty God for his faithfulness and fulfillment of his promises in my life. I wrote an exam late last year and I was scared at first whether I would pass because of every negative rumor surrounding the exams. But one thing kept my spirit lifted and strong. And that was all the wonderful testimonies I used to hear on Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer Altar. So from the day we finished the exam, my husband and I decided to put it, put it on the list of my personal supplication during the midnight prayer. Hallelujah! To God be the glory. The result was out and I passed the exam. And early this month, my promotion letter was handed over to me. I am not taking this for granted. Thank you, Jesus. I will still come back with more testimonies to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all for your tireless efforts in making the altar of prayer available to us at this time. Hallelujah. Testimony from peace from Calabar. Good morning, commanding the day midnight prayer family. I want to thank God for his mercies and goodness upon my life and family. Ever since I joined this prayer altar, God has been so faithful. My prayer life has taken a new and higher dimension. God restored my dream life through constantly keen to declarations from here. God delivered me from the spirit of death. It all started when a friend called me on phone and asked me to pray against death for me or my family. That he had a very terrible dream about me. After that, I started seeing myself eating meat in the dream with my brother. Going to meet my late maternal mother, eating food in the dream, and seeing people surrounding my door looking for a way to push in to harm me. On the second night, the same dream occurred with people surrounding my window. I was always using pastor's declaration against conspiracies and death to pray. Then on the 24th of April, around 8 p.m., I started perceiving a strange smell in my room, checked and saw nothing. I slept off waiting for my commanding the day midnight prayer alarm. While sleeping, I saw a smelly corpse with people surrounding it, and I asked myself why a dead body would be left that way. When I tried passing by, the people surrounding the corpse pulled my legs, and I struggled, screamed, and woke up with vibration and sweat all over my body. I started praying with the screenshots of commanding the day midnight prayers on my phone till when the commanding the day midnight prayer program of the day started. After commanding the day midnight prayer, I slept and I saw where I was giving meat in my village and I rejected it. While coming back from the place, I found myself on the express with cars about hitting me and people on the roadside shouting as I was in between cars, but all of a sudden, a force came and pulled me from the midst of them to the roadside. And since then, the strange dream I, I, was used to, I was used to having checked back to hell. The strange smell I was also perceiving disappeared. Sir, ma, the oil of God on your heads shall never run dry. Amen. And God shall richly bless every crew member of this family in Jesus' name. Amen. I am still trusting God. To perfect things about me. I shall return with more testimonies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Amen. Lord a praise. Priscilla from Nigeria. Praise the Lord, church. I want to thank God for what he has done for me and my family. Ever since we joined the commanding the day midnight prayer, God has been winning battles for us. Growing up, I couldn't fold my legs for long because the bones would get hooked. And I wouldn't be able to strengthen it on my own. They would even have to use ice block to massage and all sorts before it would straighten out. 
I noticed my right leg was showing the symptoms again since last month. And even if I didn't fold it, it was still hot. On 22nd April 2024, the senior pastor mentioned someone whose name starts with P. My name is Priscilla. He caused the affliction on the leg and the pain checked back to hell. Since then, I've been folding my legs with no single pain. While praying, it wasn't priority prayer point. But my father, who is so mindful of me, saw my pain and took it away. I'm so grateful. Secondly, I had a dream last month where I was talking to someone and it seemed he was my friend and I confided in him. He was even admonishing and advising me. Then I saw myself inside the people rushing to ask me if I was truly going to marry someone. I panicked because it wasn't supposed to spread. It wasn't supposed to spread it as it was a secret. Then I went out and saw my friend with a lady who was also a friend in that dream. And I was talking to both of them about it. Suddenly, I looked at them and it was like the beast in him came out. He held my hand tightly and said, do you think I'm your friend? Apparently, he and the other lady were just close to me to monitor me. On that same 22nd April, senior pastor prayed against all monitoring spirit. So accurate. And I know God has exposed them. God name, but praise. Declaration is attached. And the P in that category, right now, that satanic deposit on your leg, be retreat and be fired back to sender. I pray today, uprooting the plantings of hell, human agents, evil forces, monitoring powers, planted around your life today they are exposed today they are uprooted in the name of Jesus hallelujah this is Victoria from Abuja good morning my commanding the day midnight prayer family I have come to return all glory to God for what he has done in my life in December, my husband's promotion was denied him while his colleagues were promoted. And this is not the first time that was happening. I quickly told him, this is not ordinary. There's a force behind it. So I joined the command in the day midnight prayer and tabled it before God. When senior pastor declared that systems are put under pressure until they release what is ours, I shouted, Amen, and ran to wake him up to join the prayers. The next day, he was called from the headquarters that his name has been found on the promotion list. The same list they had read several times. Ola, ola, ola. That is how he got his denied promotion restored. Secondly, on the 17th of April, 2024, our area was up for demolition. And we're worried because we just moved into our own house on the 31st of December, 2023. I table it before God, and on the 19th of April, 2024, commanding the day midnight prayer, senior pastor mentioned our case and declared that our land, property, shall not be taken away from us, and asked that we anoint our house and community, which I did. After two days, we received the news that the demolition has been cancelled. This can only be God. Thank you, Jesus. God bless Dr. Pastor Paul and Becky and Enche for availing themselves to be used by God. May the oil on your heads never run dry. And God bless all the commanding the day midnight prayer crew. I'll surely return with more testimonies. Declaration is attached. The land grabbing agenda is frustrated. It's cancelled. In the name of Jesus. Everyone here today, everyone connected in your community, in your father's house, in your family, where the enemy is trying to take the inheritance of your fathers, I declare it shall not work. It is reversed. You can pour the same oil of vengeance on your community, on your land. Let God, who answers by fire, answer. Let the God of vengeance arise and show himself in your family, in your community, and in your territory. If you are saying amen, shout the Lord and say amen. Let's celebrate the King of Kings. Let's go. Oh. 
You may be comfortably seated anywhere you are. Praise the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. We thank God for the testimony so far tonight. We'll be taking a few more. Wake up your friends and your neighbors, your loved ones. The weather today shouldn't make them oversleep. So wake them up and let them be alert and agile and be a part of the prayer tonight. Praise the Lord. Let's take a few more testimonies. Brother Jonathan... From Eloring says, above only greetings to my, to his spiritual parents and the commanding the day midnight prayer family. He wants to use this medium to tell this faith, this faithful and merciful God of this commission a very big thank you. On the 27th of March, he went for his ICANN professional exam. After the exam, he came out and was feeling bad because he did not really love his performance in the examination hall. So while he was still in the exam center, a thought rang in his mind. Tell him not to worry, you just have to prepare well for it again. But before the thought could achieve his devilish mission, another thought antagonized it, saying, Don't worry, commanding the day will solve it. Somebody shout, Hey! <laughs> Instantly, his joy was restored. He got home that day and was waiting for that day's commanding the day midnight prayer so that he could make his supplication. He received an instruction from the Holy Spirit to pick up the ICANN exam he did the day before with a new sheet of paper and solve the questions correctly. He perceived it was the Holy Spirit giving him the same instructions as proof to the devil that he did the exam well. So he took the paper and sat on the questions from 7 a.m. in his room till 11 a.m. And after solving all the questions, he placed them in the question booklet. Every night during the commanding day midnight prayer, he presented it to God. Ola, 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 ola. On the 26th of, of April, 2024, he received a message to go and check his results. Fear gripped him, and right where he was seated, the voice came again. Commanding the day midnight prayer has settled it. Jesus, he opened the portal, and he passed. He's overwhelmed. Lord, thank you. God bless you, Samma, for answering this call. May the oil of God in your lives never run dry. God bless all the commanding day midnight prayer crew. Pass list is attached. Give the Lord a praise. Amen. Well, this Give is... the Lord a big clap and a lot of shout of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Pass list. Okay. Pass list, and that is his number there. Glory be to God. Your pass list shall soon be released and your name shall be written boldly there. Your number written boldly there, having passed and achieved what God intends for you. Let's go on to the next testimony. Finesse Franklin from Port Harcourt says, Praise the Lord. He has come to return glory to God and to let everybody know that God is real here. On the 28th slash 29th of February 2024, when the senior pastor was taking authority over the spirit of death, in the midst of the prayer, a word dropped in his spirit saying, pray fervently for your first daughter. Death might come for her. God forbid. Cancelled in Jesus' name. She immediately grew angry and intensified the prayer, rebuking the devil with scriptures. She woke up the next day to prepare her children for school. She didn't know when she slept with the food on the fire. It has never happened before. Even if she's not strong, thank God there was no incidents. 
Later on, she went to the market to get a few things and learned that there was an accident. A voice came again saying that it might be her children. That devil is a bastard. She merely rebuked it again and responded vocally saying she has taken dominion over the day so nothing can snatch her children. She got home and started cooking when she received a call from her daughter's school that she has been vomiting and they have tried to stabilize her but she's still restless. So she was asked to come and get her. She didn't know what she was doing anymore. She was headed out already when a voice came and said, Be calm. You have commanded the day, and it will be as you have said. Immediately she felt peace and regained her composure. She was already halfway there when she remembered that she left what she was cooking on fire. She had to return home to put off the gas. She met her child. She was looking weak and couldn't even walk. She carried her, called on the god of dunamis, and said she can't keep watch praying at midnight every night in vain. She made declarations with John 10, 28 to 29 and said, nothing will pluck you out of my hands, out of her hands. Her daughter said, amen. After that, she was able to sleep a bit. Then she took her to the hospital. The doctor checked her and said nothing was wrong with her. From there, she was able to walk back on her legs, got home, ate, and there was no sign of sickness again. Can you see what the devil was trying to do in the mind of that woman? Well, the girl got home, ate, and there was no sign of sickness again. She has come to return glory to God for preservation. God bless everyone keeping this prayer going. Your labor of love shall not be in vain. In Amen. More grace and more strength are mine. In Jesus' name, the declaration is attached. Right now, I take authority over the arrow of death. Arrow of premature death. Wherever that arrow came from. Today, I declare the arrow arrested. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Every suggestion from hell concerning you or your loved ones is hereby cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Arrow of death is returned back to hell in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Mary from Kaduna says, Good evening, sir. Ma, she wants to appreciate God for his mercies and faithfulness. She thanks God for the privilege of being connected to the commanding the day midnight prayer. She's thanking God on behalf of one of her friends whose pregnancy has been due for a while now, 10 months, and there's no sign of labor. She just encouraged her that she should not worry too much, that God will go come through for her, and she will bring forth her baby in no distant time. Boom! On the 23rd of March, during of April, I beg your pardon, during the commanding day midnight prayer, God's servant made declarations against overdue pregnancies. Immediately, she mentioned her name, Rashidat, go forth and bring forth, Praise God, she was called later that morning that she's in the hospital and that the labor started about 2.45 a.m. the same day after the commanding the day midnight prayer. To the glory of God, her bouncing baby boy arrived in the early hours of the 25th of April. Mother and baby are fine. God bless you, sir. May the oil over your head, life never run dry. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Declaration attached. Overdue pregnancy, pregnancy lasting about 10, 11, 12 months. I declare today in the name of Jesus, whatever tied that pregnancy, loose right now. Go forth and bring forth in the name of Jesus. And Rashida went forth and brought forth the same day. That's right. Give the Lord a big clap and a lot of shout of praise. Amen. For the mighty God. Hallelujah. Ben, Bernard from Mangu Local Government says, Good morning, brethren. He's here to return all the glory to God who does and continues to do wonders on this mountain. During the commanding the day midnight prayer of the 27th of, of, of April, 2024, pastor made a brutal declaration about the termination of every monitoring gadget of the devil, and he shouted amen at the top of his voice. Before this night, he'd had several encounters with demonic beings in the faces of his uncles in the village. Waking up to prepare for service the following day, the 28th of April 2024, as soon as he opened the door, he found that an, uh, that an owl had crashed, landed, and died at his doorpost. Ola, 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 ola. <laughs> Flight engine failure. That's right. <laughs> Witchcraft engine failure. He poured anointing oil on it and set it on fire. He doesn't want to take this for granted, knowing that it's the beginning of a new chapter in his family. May God bless everyone connected to this vision, and may oil never run dry. Above only... That is my place. 
the pictures and the declarations attached. Ola, ola. There it is. Crash landed. See the anointing oil. Fire rising it first. And then see the real fire on it. God is about to set on fire every satanic witch wizard against your life in the name of Jesus. Let's take a look at the declaration. I still announce to you, every radar that they are monitoring you from, every searchlight, they have beamed on you. You are aware of that, that there are things that are monitoring your life. I declare today, it is over forever. Monitoring, satanic monitoring device. I speak here by the authority of God. Every equipment in the waters, every equipment in the mountains, every equipment in the forest, anywhere they position in the heavenlies, where they position monitoring devices to monitor your life, I declare the devices set on fire. Let's go celebrate. Oh God, oh, oh Toby, oh God, in my red hat. Lord, a big clap and a shout of praise this morning. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. Wake somebody up as we approach God tonight and we shall see the almightiness of God in our lives. Psalm 16, verse 11. Everybody read with me. Want to go? Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand are pleasures forevermore. Lift your voice and say after me. Say, Father, thank you for your goodness, your kindness, your mercies. Thank you for the blessing of your presence. Thank you for life in your presence. Be glorified, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, lift your voice and speak to God. In Jesus precious name God heard and answered us to shout the Lord Amen First Samuel chapter 7, verse 11 and 12. First Samuel 7, 11 and 12. Everybody read together, want to go. And the men of Israel went out of Mizpah and pursued the Philistines and smote them until they came on Dabeth Car. Then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mizpah and Shen and called the name of it Ebenezer, saying, He that 
has the Lord helped us. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, thank you for the continuous manifestation of your help in drastic intervention, testimonies, miracles, signs, and wonders on this altar. Be glorified, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord heard us, answered us, you believe that shall the Lord say, Amen. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18 to 19. Please, I want everyone to read it together. One to go. And I say also unto thee. Peter. Again, 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 again. One to go. And I say also unto thee. That thou art Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Verse 19. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, thank you. Because no force of hell can undo what you do among us. We bind every agenda of hell to undermine, confront, counteract, antagonize, oppose, or reproach what you do in our midst and in our lives. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead. I pray. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Ephesians chapter 2 and in verse 6, everybody want to go. And he has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And where is that place? Ephesians 1, 20 and 21. Which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come. So we are seated with him above all devils. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, step I step into the new day, into the new day. In, control, in control, in charge, in, charge, in, command, in command, by the power, the power of, redemption, of redemption to bring, to bring all, forces all forces of darkness, of darkness into, subjection. into subjection. Oh Lord, oh Lord in the name of Jesus, go on ahead and pray. <laughs> In Jesus' precious name, John chapter 1 and in verse 5, everybody read it together and to go. And the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness, darkness comprehended it not. Lift your voice after me and say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day the, new day, the new day, 
as my day of light for the unveiling and dismantling of all powers of darkness. O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, I declare the new day as my day of light for the unveiling of and dismantling of all powers of darkness. O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 84 verse 11. Everybody run to go. For the Lord God is a son and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Isaiah chapter 50 and in verse 4. It says the Lord has given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakeneth morning by morning. He wakeneth my ear to hear as the learned. Today you will hear what you need to hear. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I take full delivery take of both provision, provision and, direction and direction for the new day, for, new day, for my life, life. O oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father I take full delivery take full of both provision, provision and direction, and direction for, the for the new day, for my life, O oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and pray. Jesus' precious name. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 33 and in verse 3. Everybody read together one to go. Call, Call unto me and I will answer thee, thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knewest not. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we call unto you, call unto you. Today, today, we ask, we ask that, you that you show us great and mighty things mighty which we knew not, we knew not. O, Lord, o Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Go ahead and open your mouth and pray. <laughs>
in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are saying amen, say Lord, amen. amen. If you are saying amen, shout the Lord most amen. amen. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. Judgment is about to come on the agents of darkness. Read amen. it with brutality. Want to go? He will, he will keep, keep the feet, feet of his sins. And the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. Hallelujah. The wicked shall be silent in darkness today. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you keep, that you keep the, feet the feet of your saints in, in this season and cause the wicked, cause the wicked to, be to be silent in darkness. In darkness. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. they are silent in darkness in Jesus' name. Amen. First Samuel chapter 2 and verse 10. Everybody read one to go. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces out of heaven, shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, we ask for the release of your judgment of thunder and fire on every evil altar, as well as the adversaries of the Lord, position to distract, deviate, or destroy divine purpose in the day. We decree their destruction along with all altars of strange disease and premature death. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and open your mouth up In Jesus precious name amen. say the Lord say amen. amen Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 read it together and let it be a prayer for you want to go but I shall remember the Lord thy God for it is he that giveth the power to get to it that he may establish his covenant which is well unto thy fathers as it is this day shall the Lord say amen, amen. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17a Zechariah 1 17a cry out saying Yet saying, want to go, cry yet saying, thus saith the Lord of hosts, my cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad. Lift your voice and say, Father, I receive the power to conquer resources for your glory and for the expansion of your kingdom on the earth according to your word, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, I receive the power to conquer resources for your glory and for the expansion of your kingdom on the earth according to your word, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth up. <laughs> In Jesus.
Jesus precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name. Amen. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. Everyone read one to go. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for your blessing, for your blessing on, this on this altar for fruitfulness, for fruitfulness and, multiplication and multiplication of souls, of souls globally, globally in, the in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father we, ask we ask for your blessing, for your blessing. On this, on this altar for fruitfulness, for fruitfulness and, multiplication and multiplication of souls, of souls in, salvation in salvation and discipleship, and discipleship globally, globally in, the in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. <laughs> In Jesus' precious name, Amen. the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Lift your hands and appreciate Him for the answer to prayers. Father, thank you. Father, we worship you, we honor you, we adore you. Be thou glorified in Jesus' name. Go ahead and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Want to go? We praise your name, O oh God. We give you all the praise, yeah. Lord, a big clap and a shout of praise. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. And we have a couple of testimonies which shall be taken right now. Wake up your friends before we step into personal supplication. Can we go? Sister Patience from Benue State said, Above only, that is my place. I joined Command Day Midnight Prayer in November 2023. And since then, my life has been filled with testimonies. Firstly, God healed me from kidney stones. Secondly, God healed me from bath breath. That is halitosis and body odor combined. Wow. I've suffered from bad breath and body odor for over eight years. When I joined this platform, a sister testified on how she got her healing. When our senior pastor, Dr. Pastor Paul and Enche made a brutal declaration concerning halitosis. Since then, I started trusting God for my own healing. So I presented it daily during the personal supplications. On the 26th of April, 2024, I woke up in the morning and I discovered that I don't have the bad smell anymore. Again, be the halitosis or the body odor. Wow. Thirdly, I went for antenatal and the nurse who attended to me said that the baby in my womb wasn't lying in a good position. When I came back from the hospital, I tabled it before God and during the command day me night prayer that day, I presented the issue to God during the personal supplications, on the 23rd of April, 2024, my word came again through the, through the servant of God, Dr. Pastor Paul and Nature. He made it a brutal declaration concerning my case. I shouted, Amen. Lo and behold, I went to the hospital for a scan and the results showed everything was now normal. Praise the Lord. 
I don't want to take this for granted. Thank you, Jesus, for your love over my life. I thank God in advance for safe delivery. God bless you, Sandra, for answering the call of God. Declaration attached. Let's go. In the name of Jesus, breach presentation. Almost 37 to 38 weeks and the child is still let down. I command overnight tonight, that child turns right now back to head down position. In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Let's go. OJ from Nigeria. Greetings everyone. In March I was involved in a horrible accident. We had some persons were injured and one passed in the hospital. Oh. It was very traumatic for all the parties involved. I reported myself to the police and was detained. While in detention, so many negative thoughts ran through my mind. I was confused. I didn't know what the outcome of the case would be. Hope was almost gone. All parties involved in the accident met. It was one of the most challenging moments in my life. My heart beat changed. All I could do was plead for mercy from God and man. A few days before the court hearing, my wife and I, we are led to go on a retreat before the God of Dunamis. On 20th April 2024, that was Saturday, God's servant made some brutal declarations in command the day midnight prayers. Says, stating that the person committed a grievous crime like a crime of murder and he deserves a capital punishment. But I see mercy prevailing tonight for the release of this person. But Jehovah is intervening on the grounds of mercy. All of a sudden, the case is called off before the next seven days. You will hear news that the case is being cancelled off. And Jehovah is intervening. If you are saying amen, shout the Lord say amen. <laughs> My wife and I shouted amen at the top of our voices. After command the day vigil, we went to meet the senior pastor as he was about entering his car. He declared, raising his hands, your petitions are all answered in Jesus' mighty name. Like Hannah, we held on strongly to those words. Stayed over the church premises and went to him after Sunday service. Wow, started stayed from Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We were sent to a court. Jesus, after five days, less than seven days, just as God's servant declared. The other parties involved declared in the court that they were not interested in a court case. The judge struck out the case on the grounds that the parties involved are not interested anymore. It was just like a dream, but it is real. Kai, Jesus, God of this commission is real. Hallelujah. We are not taking this for granted. We have come to return all the praise to God and pray that God perfects the healing of those injured and comfort the family of the disease in Jesus' name. And we pray affliction will never rise again in Jesus' name. May God bless his servants for their sacrifice of love. Mungode, we are grateful. Declaration attached. The Lord is visiting somebody and I don't know whether the person is watching right in the prison or the person's relation is standing for them but the person committed a very very um grievous crime as grievous like a grievous crime like a crime of murder and and and, and it deserves it deserves the capital punishment that person but i see mercy prevailing tonight for the release of this person whether you are in the prison or right now watching or you have a brother in relation that killed the person and and, he, and he's guilty as charged but jehovah is intervening on the ground of mercy all of a sudden the case is called up all of a sudden discharged and acquitted the person is remorsefully has changed it's a different person now father thank you because it is done under seven days accident involving killing of a person charged to court cleared under five days give the lord a big clap and a shout of praise mighty god and then mrs yusuf c from delta Good evening, my commanding the day family. I have come to return all glory to God, who never disappoints. I joined the command the day through my sister-in-law who lives in Abuja in February this year after telling her about some things that have been going on. The first time I joined wasn't easy for me, but I believed I will get my breakthrough from this altar. I remember visiting one of the branches of Dunamis in Delta State in 2019 when I asked God to give me a song. After Pastor Paul Edencher said we should write our prayer request through a live broadcast during one of the programs in either June or July that year. That same month, God answered me and gave me a son nine months later. Wow. When the child was six months, I took him for a genotype test, which turned out SS. 
So immediately my sister-in-law mentioned this command the day midnight prayer program to me. I said, good. I've been telling God that he gave me this child through the declaration of his servant. So I will go back to the same altar to tell God, please come and change the genotype. Allah, Allah, Allah. God did it when I joined the command the day program. Each time I hear people testify of SS being changed to AA, I kept keen into it. Even when Pastor Paul said, go carry out the genotype test, I was always scared. Until one night I told God during one of the commanding the day programs that if, you are, if you've truly changed it, put it in the mouth of your servant today that I should go and do this genotype test again. It wasn't up to 10 minutes. God's servant said, it is in, in the commanding the tone. I said, go and check that genotype. Immediately I jumped up and shouted, the Lord has answered me. Oh. Next day I went to do it. As the Lord has instructed, and lo and behold, SS had been changed to AS. Indeed, God is in this place. God bless you, Pastor Paul and Becky and Enche, for answering this great call of God. May the oil of God on your, on your head never run dry. My testimony never finish you. I am coming back for more. Give the Lord a praise. Test result attached. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. It is permanent in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Mrs. Gio from Ogun State. Above all, that is my place. I want to thank God for his divine visitation upon my daughter's life. Ever since my daughter clocked one, she's been having seizures, but later it stopped when she clocked three. Immediately she turned five. In October 2023, the seizure started coming every month back to back. And it's always around 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. in the midnight. A lot of prophecies revealed that it's my husband's mother who is now late that came back and was communicating through her and that whatever she wants, we should give her and not make her cry. Ever since, any little cry in the night, seizure must come in the midnight. Husband and I were now afraid of spanking or scolding her so that she wouldn't cry and have a seizure at midnight. My daughter, on the other hand, started misbehaving because she knows we can't spank her. There was a time the seizure came in the midnight and my husband was like, is this how his mother will keep looking at this girl suffering every time? We ran a lot of tests on her, ECG, MRI, etc. But no solution was found. We were later given epilim syrup to start using for her non-stop for years. But when I am, my husband and I read the leaflet in the epilim, it was heartbreaking and we decided not to use it for her and believe in God because there was no assurance that a drug would stop the seizure according to the doctor. My sister advised me to join Command the Day Midnight Prayer in February this year because the seizure happened again when we went home for my mom's birthday, that February period. Ever since I joined this prayer, my daughter has not had any attack. I even purposely made make her cry very well. Scold her and everything but not, you know, hey, Allah, 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 to my greatest surprise, yesterday, 4th May, 2024, God put my daughter's situation and even her name in the senior pastor's mouth, Joanna. She's also called Joan. The devil is truly a bastard because ever since I joined this prayer altar, I've never missed it and the devil made me miss yesterday's own. I had to rewatch this morning since I couldn't get up at the midnight and to the glory of God, my daughter's name was mentioned. Allah, Allah, when I sent the prophecy to my husband, he asked if I sent a prayer request. And I told him, no. <laughs> that would have been a word from knowledge. I told him, no. And that I just told God to put our situation in the mouth of his servant. I even played it for my daughter. So she can say amen to it. And she was like, how did he know my name? I told her, God, put your name in his mouth. God bless you, son, ma. And all the crew members, may your oil never run dry. Amen. Pictures and declarations attached. That's daughter right there. That's the epilim syrup. And that is this med med medicine can seriously harm an unborn baby. Always use effective or no. And then look at the baby right there with all the gadgets of <laughs> let's go. Someone with a name that starts with a J under this category you are set free. Joanne is set free. The spirit of your grandmother 
will not temper with your destiny. Hey! Hey! I take authority over that demon of reincarnation. Where they say that your grandmother reincarnated you, your mother reincarnated you, your grandfather reincarnated you. I take authority over that demon of reincarnation. I break your power in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout power! This is a very serious matter. Stand up on your feet, people. This is a very, very serious matter. Lift your hands and give the Lord the praise. Every demon from anywhere tempering with your destiny, that agenda is arrested forever in the name of Jesus. Celebrate God for the next one minute. Let's celebrate. Celebrate the fearfulness of God. You are God and God alone. You do what none can do. You made ways where there is no way. You do the incredible. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Joanne's case is a wonder indeed. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. It's a wonder. It's a prophetic wonder. Sign and a wonder. Let's go into the clips. Masha Koko Bagalaya Above only, that's my place. I'll thank God on behalf, um, behalf of daddy and mommy for the strength God has given them today and for the power and for the authority that was on this altar. I want to thank God for how he healed me of liver fattening. I also want to thank God for how he has been helping me all through, granting me favor of all. I want to also thank God that after that um uk's program and life has never been the same and i also want to bless god my my word came two weeks ago i was supposed to be at the i was supposed to be awake but i don't know how i slept off and my word came that night and um, the man of god said that he took authority over the spirit of eating in the dream he took authority over that and since that day victory has been mine i also want to thank god for my mother's word that came last night he said that people that had diabetes from birth and I, I believe god has answered our prayer i just want to thank god for his faithfulness ever since i connected to this program there have been love blessings uncountable one at that i can't even start mentioning thank you mommy thank you daddy thank you for every crew member that's that's made community of the of if you want may god bless us all thank you May God bless us all. Give the Lord a praise. My name is Princess Kate from Port Harcourt. I have been on the altars in December 2023. And ever since I joined, this altar has blessed my life in the way of improving my prayer life as well, especially midnight prayer life. God Sabbath, been during the prophetic declarations, rebuked a life sided left leg affliction of pain as if it is a stroke and this has been the experience for quite some days before that day and uh, immediately exactly i received my home and that pain i will get back to her forever god bless you sir god bless you ma and god bless everyone on this altar above only that's our place 
All right, give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord the honor. Can we stand up on our feet, wave your hands and give him the honor? Give him the praise, give him the adoration. Father, we worship you. We love you, we honor you, we adore you. Be thou glorified in Jesus' precious name. Can you go before God in personal supplication, whatever you are believing God to do for you? First of all, appreciation and then supplication. Let's go. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Adonai. In Jesus' precious name. I'd like you to lift up all the things. It's a financial empowerment day. Lift up the materials. Financial points of contact. And anything you want the Lord to bless for you. Empower for you. And lay them up.
Lift your hands high in the name that is above every name. Jesus Christ, the resurrected Lord. I speak right now. The God who owns the universe. Who owns the heavens and who owns the earth. Breathe upon you. Breathe upon the work of your hands. Breathe upon the work of your hands. Because everywhere they have what is yours tied down to, re to release them. I prophesy your financial potential, your wealth capacity, your possibilities in supernatural resources be unveiled today. Every limit the devil placed on you, every embargo placed is hereby lifted. In the name of Jesus, Within the matter of days, walk into wealth, walk into resources, walk into supplies that will blow your mind. Every financial point of contact in your hands, I declare them empowered and I declare them exploding. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for hearing and answering. In the name of Jesus. Systems that are holding what is yours, they lose their peace. They lose their sleep. They lose their rest. Until what is yours enters your hands. In Jesus precious name. I pray for that person with an ant like feeling on the right leg like you match the charm. Ant like feeling. I retrieve that affliction and return it back to hell. The abdominal discomfort like the whole abdomen is on fire. It's returned back to hell right now. The right flank challenge like there's a right kidney situation. I declare it healed right now. In the name of Jesus, the right knee is healed right now. I take authority over the spirit of death. The dreams of death, the dreams of dead relation, dreams of grave, dreams of calamity, disaster, blood. Today, it is over in the name of Jesus. I set everyone free in that category. I set Tabitha free. Nobody will use your life as a sacrifice. If they have sacrificed others, they can't sacrifice you. And I speak to everyone, anywhere you are watching around the world, your life shall not be used as sacrifice in the name of Jesus. Declare that throat condition healed. Anyone with such a condition, I speak to a particular person with a name that starts with an F. In the name of Jesus. Left eye is healed. A weight on the shoulders. Is healed right now. Whatever weight they have put on those shoulders, I declare the weight lifted in the name of Jesus. Lower back is healed. Lower left leg is healed. Neck condition is healed. Spider web witchcraft. It has left before, but it's trying to return back. I declare it set on fire in the name of Jesus. Razor marks left before, but trying to return back. And if yours has been there and never left, I declare they are gone to hell forever. In the name of Jesus. May God give you this delivery without another cesarean session. Prolonged obstructed labor shall not be your portion. In the name of Jesus. I see the release of delayed payments. Payments that have been delayed. I see them released right now. Before this week is out, anywhere systems are holding what is yours, they lose their peace and sleep and, and rest until what is yours enters your hands. You are saying amen, say louder, amen. This word is particularly applicable to someone all the way in the south, south area of Delta area of Ukeli area. Leko paratana kakashina galish dorodo. Wakosa paratana kaka. Where you have labor, the Bible says in every labor there is profit. You can't labor in vain, you can't bring forth for trouble. Receive what is yours in the name of Jesus. Go today, come tomorrow, it's over forever. And I say this to everyone, where what is yours is, is waiting. And when they say go today, go tomorrow, before this week is out, you will go and they won't ask you to go tomorrow. In fact, I, I, I instruct you, in the name of Jesus, this week, tomorrow, move to where they are holding what is yours and tell them I have come to receive what is mine. Go tomorrow, come back tomorrow, it's not your portion. Receive it now, before this week is out. It is in your hands. In the name of Jesus.
I don't know what the word Khalifa, whether it's the name of a person, the name of a place, the name of an institution, what it means to you. But today, the Lord is giving that person that that name means anything to a visitation. First of all, a revival visitation in your spiritual life because it's like existence in a dry land where prayer is a struggle. Where fasting is a struggle. Where worship is a struggle. That's right. It's like, it's like existing where even your spirituality is an offense. In the name of Jesus, that yoke is broken. Receive the grace right now to break through in the realms of the spirit. And everyone that has a spiritual embargo, a spiritual siege over your life, it is broken right now. In the name of Jesus. See someone has the name like N E B O, like a Nibo. It's like he has a Lisa connected to it, whether they are two names or the same Nebo Lisa. Mahusha to Kalabaradisi. Stretch your two hands, everybody, and including that person. That wild wind that blows things off your hands. Hey, the wild wind that blows things off your hands. When it was just about to land, it is blown off. I declare today that wild wind is arrested right now in the name of Jesus. It will now be a contrary wind. Not the wind that blows things away from your hands, but the wind that blows things into your hands. The wind of the spirit. The, the same wind that blew the quails into the hands of the Israelites. Into, into, the, into, into the camp of Israel. Right now, that is your portion. And before this week is out, your hand that was empty, that was made dry by the wind of hell, shall become loaded in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for healing someone of the appendicitis. Stretch your two hands still. I prophesy the blessing upon the hands. That hand cannot be empty. What is yours must enter the hands this week. And what you lay the hands on this week is blessed. You step out in the morning, lay your hands on your documents, lay your hands on your shop, lay your hands on the gates of your, of your, of, of your enterprise, on the doors of your office. Lay your hands on anything that pertains to your life and your destiny. And I declare, the one that has the key of David opens and no man shuts. Shuts, no man opens. That one will open for you a door that no devil can shut. Somebody shout the loudest, amen. Wave your hands and give the Lord the praise. You can also wave your phones because they are points of contact for alerts and points of contact for what enters your hands in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Adonai, thank you. Elion, thank you. Blessed be your name. The calls, the text messages, positive ones, not negative, challenging, demanding, or, or temptatious ones. The positive calls that must enter, the messages that must come, the emails that must come, they are in released in a hurry. And you must testify before the week is out. Thank you, Master. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. And be seated wherever you are. Very quickly before I do the altar call. And before I do the offering. We have a lineup of programs and we can show them to us very, very fast. Beginning with the Ethiopia Crusade. And then the Kenya Crusade. And then the um, Worship and the Destiny Recovery Convention. And then Canada Crusade. Let's go. Sh sharply as we can. Hello, Salamno, Ethiopia. Salamno. <laughs> Bringing you greetings all the way from the Glory Dome, Abuja in Nigeria, and announcing to you the Ethiopia Healing and Deliverance Crusade on the 13th and 14th of May, 2024. She could not walk for 35 years. Ministers' conference, church workers' conference, and everybody's conference at the CJ International Church Hall by 9 a.m. in Addis. It's going to be a most unusual time in God's presence. There will be salvations, there will be healings, there will be miracles, there will be signs, there will be wonders, there will be deliverance for the captives, there will be impartation for pastors, there will be fire impartation, and the nation will never remain the same to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Invite your friends, your loved ones from all around. Let them come. Let Jesus do something strategic and determined to 
transform their life and destiny. So we welcome you all the way from Atana, Bishop to Dutum, Shashamani, Arba Minchu, Addis Ababa, and Debrazeit, all across Ethiopia. All across, all across. We see you there. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. No work for 35 years. 35 years? Are you just looking like that? in the meeting of Dr. Paul and Angel is a true servant of God in this millennium hour. So when you come, you will be blessed to listen to him and to come for prayer. God bless you. Bless him. Kini kinene, Daktali Paul na Daktali Becky and Angel, nime ukite Kenya, mweni wakatano, walaka sarani stadium, inyo ndemu ya doche, nimu wea. Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, my name is Becky Paul Enenche. I'm going to go to the stadium in the city of 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 Furaha Ilioze, Dr. Paul Enenche na Mama Becky Enenche watakuwa hapa nchini Kenya katika uge wa Kasarani tarehe 16 hadi 17 Mei mwaka huu. Mimi ninahesabika. Je, wewe? Hallelujah. Amen. Jambo Kenya. Jambo Kenya. This is to welcome you to the Kenya Healing and Deliverance Crusade with the title In the Day of His Power for the 16th and 17th of May 2024 at the Kasarani Stadium. Conferences in the morning, 9 a.m and the crusade in the evening, 5 p.m. of Thursday and Friday. There will be healings, there will be miracles, there will be signs, and there will be wonders. Are you seeing something? There will be deliverances, there will be breakthroughs. Somebody tell us what's happening. There will be impartations for ministers and church workers, and fire baptism in the Holy Ghost. It shall be explosive. You are praying not just for yourself, but for the land. God's going to be there. God's going to do what only he can do. Be sure to invite your friends, your loved ones, your neighbors. Let everybody gather together there and let their lives be transformed. All the way from Kisumu, all the way from Nairobi, from Nyeri, from Kiambu, from Kajiado, from Nakuru, from Kakamega, from Bungoma, Kisumu Kisi, from Machako Zembo, Mombasa, Kilifi, from Mandera, Garissa, and all the other counties in Yes, I knew on both sides. Yes, sir. For three years. Yes, sir. Are you just standing and looking like that? Bring your friends. Doesn't matter whether they go to church already or not. Jesus it doesn't matter whether you. what denomination they are. It's for Jesus. It's a life transforming time. Let them come with you and let their lives be transformed. Now we see Kenya rising up in victory, rising up in glory. Hallelujah. Karibu San. There are people seated here today. I prophesy to you, God is about to take you up. God is saying to you and he's saying to me that you cannot afford to be a Christian and be in the pit. Why should you be anywhere in the world and be seeing yourself back in your own primary school? That devil has been defeated. And everyone that is here that has ever been contaminated and corrupted with an oil from a sorcerer in this convention, I declare it is wiped out. And we shall go to the nations of the world with the everlasting gospel. Back 
killing you. No devil can weary you out. No force of hell can tire you out. Between you and the devil, it is the devil that will get tired. And who has said that your voice shall not be heard in your generation? The Holy Spirit came to use your tongue so that your world can hear your voice. <laughs> Give the Lord a praise. We look for, forward to seeing all of you everywhere you are. Canada, just inform your friends, your loved ones, and everyone. We trust God for an overwhelming time in God's presence. Anywhere you are in, in need of surrender to, today, place your hand and pray after me. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord. No turning back. Forward ever. Backward never. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us know that you pray that prayer and we'll be glad to receive you. Everyone stretch your two hands in front of you. I prophesy upon your hands. Your harvest shall look for you in Jesus' precious name. Stand on your feet and let's give him the praise and give him the honor. Tomorrow night, we shall be dealing with light. 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 To tackle every mystery of darkness tomorrow night. It will, be, it will involve in unveiling mysteries. It will involve dealing with dark powers, light to tackle the mysteries of darkness. Please ensure that you inform your friends and loved ones that you are there. The Lord bless you. And 2024, say 2024 and above only. Where is your place? And above only God bless you. Have a most wonderful night. And see you as we deal with light to tackle darkness tomorrow. God bless you. Celebrations. The key of faith, the key of